name is Emily Rogers and I'm running to be your next Director of Events and Services. Hi, I'm Chris, Chris McCree, and I'm running for Director of Events and Services. Leon has just stated that a highlight of his was to bring John Richardson to St Andrews. Who or what would be your dream signing? I've said in my manifesto that um, Venue One, when it was first opened, was uh, headlined by Pink Floyd, was the opening act of Venue One back in 1973. And you know, I've said I want to bring in a similar sized act for um, for. Uh, uh, you know, the opening of our new club space in, 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 at the Union. Honestly, it would be Justin Timberlake. You said dream, so I can say that. There's a lot of uh, DJs and stuff like that that are up and coming, the likes of like Kygo. Um, certainly, because of my music background, I'm, I'm obviously going to be leaning more towards that sort of person, but um, my dream would be to bring Kygo here. I, I went to Kygo concert in Edinburgh and it was literally just all St Andrews people. They, they, everyone here loves Kygo, so um, if I could bring Kygo here as you know an opening act in Freshers Week, I think it'd be amazing. I'm going to be looking at a lot of different range of acts, so kind of from people like George Edra to churches to smaller local bands in Glasgow and Edinburgh because there are a lot of great local talent. And you know, while I'm American, I've had a great experience going to concerts in and around you know the two big cities that are nearest to us, and it's been a great experience. So I want to try and get more of them interested in coming here and with travel expenses if they're local it's just so much easier to get them in. Uh, what makes you stand out from your competitors? I think it's my experience. Um, because I've been working in and around the Union but not so much as to kind of become jaded to the rest of town and what other kind of unaffiliated societies are dealing with. Personally I think it's Partly my, my experience of working in the union, but also my, my personable qualities. I think, I think I'm, I'm a very sociable guy. Um, I'm very talkative, as well, I've literally just spoken at a camera for too long and I should probably shut up soon. I've got a great relationship with most of the building staff, which means that if I'm elected, I won't have to spend any time kind of building up those relationships. You know, I'll be able to help you get your ideas started. I've also planned every kind of event you can think of from like a small coffee meeting to large music concerts. So hopefully that you know with our new spaces I feel very comfortable with our new performance space and our new club that I'll be able to come up with some creative ideas but also help you put on whatever events you're wanting to. Even if you've never put on an event before I want to be here as a support so that you can use my experience. The job itself is, involves a lot of calling up agents um, basically speaking to people, you know, Leon, everyone knows Leon, he's been out and about, he's spoken to people, he's very visible um, and behind the scenes a lot of what he does is trying to convince acts to come here basically and you know working in the sort of bureaucracy that is the union, you know, being uh, someone who's quite easy to get on with is very important for the job and I think that's my main quality that makes me stand out among the competitors. What are my primary policies? I want, to, I want to have more daytime activities, again, because this union is going to be, you know, next year it's going to be the biggest, most, uh, you know, it's going to have the most facilities, it's going to be the most modern building in the town, it really has to be the hub of all activity that happens here. That doesn't just include nighttime activities, I want to bring in uh, daytime events, um, I want to work with the societies, I want to work with the subcommittees to have as many possible uh, events throughout the day to give people somewhere to go during the day, especially since with the whole accommodation crisis and everything like that, people are being pushed further and further out of town. People need somewhere to go in the centre of town um, just to relax and to enjoy themselves. I'm using the acronym DOES, so we've got dynamic policies, opportunity policies, my experience policies and spaces policies. Uh, the dynamic ones are basically to promise that we will continue to, to have a lot of activity and progress throughout the year. So I want to be able to try new things, I want to have something for everyone and I want people to know that I'm going to balance uh, my commercial responsibility with the student experience. Hall and postgrad nights, um, it's sort of like a guest list style system where I mean, there would be a set night of the week where for example halls, let's say DRA and Uni Hall, they get cheap drinks on that night and the hall rep can try and organise as many of them to come out on a specific night to come and you know, stamp them all and they all get cheaper drinks on that night. That's my way of trying to work around the fact that at the end of the day inflation is going to mean drinks prices will probably always go up and as much as I'll fight to try and keep them down, 
I don't think any door has ever actually managed to bring down drinks prices. Um, so I want to try and work around the ways of doing that through guest list style systems. Um, I want to do stuff for postgrads as well because postgrads are quite underrepresented in terms of nightlife here. Uh, they don't really have a huge amount dedicated to them. So I, again, I want to have cheaper drinks for postgrads if they all come out on a specific night. Uh, opportunities, I want you to be able to come in and look at the space and I'm going to create a how to plan an, an event guide like we did for On the Rocks this year to make it more accessible so that people can get even more proactive and say yes I want to do this and now I feel like I can. Um, from my experience, I want you to be able to kind of use me in order to create whatever you want to create, but I also want you to know that you can trust me to already put on a great lineup. And for our spaces, the DOES is in charge of the entertainment every night, so that goes under the bars, but it also means that I'm looking after Rector's Cafe and your shop, equipment hire services, print and design services, so I want you to have the best experience, you know, if it's from the beer or coffee in your hand to the person who's making it for you, you should be getting the best treatment in your union because it's your space. What is your favorite type of cheese? <laughs> um, honestly, I tried one the other day out on the street and I can't remember what it was, but I really like the one with the dried cranberries in it. I don't know why, I just love you know, <laughs> cranberries and crackers. Ooh, oh, um, that's tough. Also, I know this is unrelated, but the pumpkin and cranberry bread in Morrison's is great. <laughs> oh, I mean, I like, I like a bit of mozzarella, but that's just because I'm a pizza fan. But you know, I, I'm gonna have to do a throwback to uh, the baby bells of old. You know, and uh, my mum's packed lunches every single day. Eden cheese, loved it, loved it.